Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this frame using slope deflection method. Before analyzing, let us see the frame one time. In this frame, there are two columns, column AB and column CD. Also, there is a beam BC. In the column AB, there is a point load 16 kN acting at a distance of 1 meter from the point B. In the beam BC, there is uniformly distributed load 6 kN per meter. This load is acting for the full span. In the column CD, there is a point load 20 kN. This load is acting in the center. In the point C, there is a nodal point load 8 kN. Height of the column AB is 4 meter. Height of the column CD is 6 meter. Length of the beam BC is 5 meter. The moment of inertia for the column AB is 2i. For the beam BC is 1.5i. For the column CD is 3i. In the points A and D, there are fixed supports. This frame is a sway type frame because the columns A, B and C, D are having different heights. Let us assume that the sway occurs towards the left side because the column A, B is shorter than the column C, D. Let us find the kinematic indeterminacy of the frame. In the joint B, there will be slope theta B. In the joint C also, there will be slope theta C. Also, we have the sway. So, the kinematic indeterminacy of the frame is 3. They are theta B, theta C and delta. Now let us find the fixed end moments. First let us find them in the column AB. In the column AB there is an eccentric point load 16 kN. The formulas to find the fixed end moments are minus WAB square upon L square and positive WA square B upon L square. Let us apply the values inside the formulas. W is 16, A is 3, B is 1. After applying, we are getting M of AB and M of BA. Now let us make the fixed end moments in the beam BC. In the beam BC, there is UDL 6 kN per meter acting for the full span. The formulas for the fixed end moments are minus WL square upon 12 and positive WL square upon 12. In the formulas, let us apply the values W is 6, L is 5. When we apply them, we are getting M of BC and M of CB. Now, let us find the fixed end moments in the column CD. In the column CD, there is a point load 20 kN. It is acting in the center. The formulas to find the fixed end moments are minus WL upon 8 and positive WL upon 8. In the formula, let us apply the values. W is 20, L is 6. When we apply them, we are getting M of CD and M of BC. Now let us make the slope deflection equations. First let us make them in the column AB. Since the column AB is subjected to sway, we have to add the sway moment 6 Ea delta upon L square with the equations. Since the sway occurs towards the left side, these moments will be positive. In the equations, let us apply the values. First, let us apply the fixed end moments. 
length of the column AB is 4 meter. Let us apply that. The movement of inertia for AB is 2i. So instead of i, we have to apply 2i. In the point A, there is a fixed support. In the fixed support, there will be no slope. So theta A will be 0. Finally, we have made two equations. Now, let us make the slope deflection equations in the beam BC. Let us apply the fixed end movements. Length of BC is 5. Let us apply that. The movement of inertia for BC is 1.5i. So, instead of i, we have to apply 1.5i. Finally, we have made two equations. Now, let us make the slope deflection equations in the column CD. The column CD is subjected to sway. So, in the equations, we have to add the sway movements. In the equations, let us apply the values. First, let us apply the fixed end movements. The moment of inertia for CD is 3i. So, instead of i, we have to apply 3i. In the point D, there is a fixed support. In the fixed support, there will be no slope. So, theta D will be 0. Finally, we have made two equations. Now, let us make the joint equilibrium equations. In the joint B, there will be two movements, MBA and MBC. When we add both of them, it will be 0. We have made the slope deflection equations for MBA and MBC. Let us apply them, then add them and keep the numerical on the right side. Let us keep this equation as number 7. In the joint C also, there will be two movements, MCB and MCD. When we add both of them, it will be 0. For MCB and MCD, we have made the slope deflection equations. Let us apply them. Then we have to add them and keep the numerical on the right side. Let us keep this equation as number 8. In this analysis, there are three unknowns, but we have only two equations. Let us see how to make the third equation. Let us take the column AB and find the horizontal reaction in the point A. When we calculate the horizontal reaction HA, we have to always assume that MAB and MBA are acting in the clockwise direction. Also, HA is acting towards the right side. Let us take moment about B and find HA. When we take moment about B, we are moving towards right hand side. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. HA is acting in the anticlockwise direction. So, it will be negative and the distance is 4 meter. So, minus 4 HA. The movements MAB and MBA are acting in the clockwise direction. So, both of them will be positive. The load 16 kilo Newton is acting in the anticlockwise direction. So, it will be negative and the distance is 1 meter. So, minus 16 into 1. After simplifications for HA, we are getting this. Now, let us take the column CD and find HD. Here also, we have to assume that the moments MDC and MCD are acting in the clockwise direction and HD is acting towards the right side. To find HD, we are going to take moment about to C. In this case, we are moving towards left hand side. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. 
HD is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so it will be positive and the distance is 6, so 6 HD. The movements MDC and MCD are acting in the clockwise direction, so both of them will be negative. The load 20 kN is acting in the clockwise direction, so it is also negative and the distance is 3 meter. After the simplification for HD, we are getting this. Now let us apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0. HA and HD are acting towards the right side. So both of them will be positive. 16 kN is acting towards the right side. So it is also positive. 8 kN and 20 kN are acting towards the left side. So both of them will be negative. For HA and HD, let us apply the expressions just before we have made. Let us add these values. When we add them, we will get minus 6. When we take minus 6 on the right side, it will become positive. For these two terms, let us take LCM. Let us keep 12 as the common denominator. We have to multiply this term with 3 on the numerator and denominator and we have to multiply this term with 2 on the numerator and denominator. Then we can take this 12 on the right side. 12 into 6 we will get 72. For MAB, MBA, MCD and MDC, let us apply the expressions from the slope deflection equations. Let us multiply this equation by 3, this equation by 3, this equation by 2 and this equation by 2. Then let us add them. After adding, we will get this. We have to always keep the numerical on the right side. Let us keep this equation as number 9. Now we have three equations, the 7th one, 8th one and 9th one. We can use the calculator and solve these three equations. If you do not know how to solve three equations in the calculator, See the description below, there is a link, you can click the link and watch the video. I have used the calculator and got these values. When we apply the values of Ea theta b and Ea delta in the equation number 1, we are getting Mab. When we apply the values of Ea theta b and Ea delta in the equation number 2, we are getting Mba. When we apply the values of Ea theta b and Ea theta c in the equation number 3, we are getting Mbc. When we apply the values of Ea theta b and Ea theta c in the equation number 4, we are getting Mcb. When we apply the values of Ea theta c and Ea delta in the equation number 5, we are getting Mcd. Finally, when we apply the values of Ea theta c and Ea delta, in the equation number 6, we are getting MDC. So, we have calculated all of the movements. For MAB, we got a positive value. That means it is acting in the clockwise direction. For MBA, we got a positive value. So, it is also acting in the clockwise direction. For MBC, we got a negative value. That means it is acting in the anti-clockwise direction. For MCB, we got a positive value. That means it is acting in the clockwise direction. For MCD, we got a negative value. That means it is acting in the anti-clockwise direction. Finally, for MDC, we got a positive value. That means it is acting in the clockwise direction. Now we are going to find the reactions. First let us take the column AB and find the reactions. By taking movement about B we can find HA. 
by applying the rule sigma h is equal to 0 we can find hb now let us take the beam bc and find the reactions by taking moment about to see we can find vb by applying the rule sigma v is equal to 0 we can find vc now let us take the column cd and find the reactions by taking moment about to d we can find hc by applying this rule we can find hd using the reactions and loads we can draw the shear force diagram using the formulas we can make the free movement diagram using the direction of the movements we can make the end movement diagram then we can combine both of the diagrams and get the bending moment diagram now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video